Strengths-Based Leadership, Great Leaders, Teams, and Why People Follow by Tom Rath and Barry Conchi is an extensively researched book that investigates the keys to effective leadership. The authors assembled a team of experts to review decades of Gallup data on this topic, more than 20,000 in-depth interviews with senior leaders, studies of more than 1 million work teams, plus 50 years of Gallup polls about the world's most admired leaders. From there, they launched a new study of more than 10,000 followers. Their three core findings pave the way for three parts of the book and this review. They are, the most effective leaders are always investing in strengths. The most effective leaders surround themselves with the right people and then maximize their team. And the most effective leaders understand their followers' needs. Invest in your strengths. The idea of the well-rounded leader is a misconception, if not an outright myth. Those who strive to excel in all areas become the least effective leaders overall. Few people, leaders included, have discovered where they have the most potential for growth. Leaders often do not have a true sense of their strengths and weakness, and without awareness of strengths, leading effectively is impossible. This lack of self-awareness and what a leader is truly best at can lead to more disengaged employees, unhappy customers, and stress. Big problems surface when managers and leaders think they should be clones of the leaders they most admire. Leaders must know their strengths, but knowing the strengths of those who follow them is just as important. Citing a 2007 Global Gallup poll of Gallup's own clients, the authors say most people do not have the opportunity to do what they do best every day. When an organization's leadership fails to focus on individual strengths, the odds of an employee being engaged are 1 in 11. Given the chance to work in their strengths, odds of engagement skyrocket to 75%. When employees are focused on their weaknesses, self-confidence on the job likely plummets along with performance. Maximize your team. Effective leaders surround themselves with the right people and build on the strengths of each one. In many cases, however, leadership teams are a product of circumstance rather than design. Team members get promoted on knowledge, competence, and job function rather than strengths that best complement existing team members. When leaders do recruit for strength, they tend to choose people who act, think, and behave like themselves. But how can a company grow if a leader only selects like-minded people or have a similar background and personality. From the thousands of executive teams that Gallup studied, the organization found that the most cohesive and successful teams possess broad groupings of strengths. Specifically, four domains of leadership strength emerged, executing, influencing, relationship building, and strategic thinking. Leaders with dominant strength in the executing domain know how to make things happen. Leaders who lead by influencing help their team reach a much broader audience. Leaders who lead through relationship building are the essential glue that holds a team together. Leaders with great strategic thinking strength keep us all focused on what could be, stretching our thinking for the future. Rather than rely on a single dominant leader who tries to do everything or individuals with similar strengths, Strong teams are built with contributors from all four domains. Individuals do not need to be well-rounded, but teams should be. Investment and in complementary team building that plays to each member's strengths pays big dividends in a strong, united team. 1. Conflict doesn't destroy strong teams because strong teams focus on results. Healthy debate often characterizes the most successful teams and doesn't cause them to split up. These teams are united in seeking the truth in service of results. 2. Strong teams prioritize what's best for the organization and then move forward. High performance teams keep the larger goal in view and put what's best for the organization ahead of their egos. Once decisions are made, great teams rally to help one another. 3. Members of strong teams are as committed to their personal lives as they are to their work. They bring the same level of energy to their family, social, and community lives as they do to their work lives. Highly engaged people are both satisfied with their work and personal lives. 4. Strong teams embrace diversity. 
Having a team whose members look at issues similarly is no recipe for success. Most engaged teams welcome diversity of age, gender, and race, while disengaged teams do the opposite. The most engaged teams look at individuals through the lens of natural strength and their diversity. Five, strong teams are magnets for talent. Stars see top teams as a place to demonstrate their leadership and have a real impact. Getting the right strengths on a team is a good starting point, but it is not enough. The leader must continue to invest in each person's strengths and build better relationships among all team members. This allows them to think about the needs of the people they serve. Understand why people follow. You are a leader only if others follow. If you want to lead, knowing what the people around you need and expect from you is critical. Leaders are only as strong as the connections they make with each person in their circle. Too often we focus on leaders but ignore their impact on and the opinions of the people they lead. The authors asked 10,000 followers, ordinary working people, what leader has the most positive influence in your daily life? They then asked these 10,000 followers to list what they want and need most from the influential leaders in their lives. And these four words appeared the most. Trust, compassion, stability, and hope trust. Followers will not tolerate dishonesty. Without trust in leadership, the chances of employees being engaged at work is 1 in 12. With trust, it's 1 in 2. Big difference. Trust creates increased speed and efficiency in the workplace. People make things happen quickly when they are bonded, skipping formality and getting straight to what is important. Compassion. People expect compassion from higher up leaders and things like caring from everyday leaders. People are people, and followers value being recognized as a human with needs for connection and well-being. Stability. People want leaders they can depend on in times of need. At the most basic level, employees need a paycheck and need to feel secure about their jobs. Followers with a sense of where their career is headed and how the organization is doing financially feel safe. Transparency is a huge contributor to stability. Hope. Knowing things can and will be better in the future is a powerful motivator. With hope absent, people lose confidence, disengage, and often feel helpless. Leaders can choose to initiate or react. Leaders who react too much convey that they aren't in control. Leaders who initiate create hope for the future. That may be why the best leaders, the authors say, are those whose behaviors and lessons live on long after they are gone and change the lives of those who follow them. This has been our review of the book, Strength Space Leadership, by Tom Rath and Barry Conchie. When you buy this book, you will receive access to the Strengths Finder 2.0 assessment and will also receive a personalized Strength Space Leadership Guide just for you. Pick it up and learn more about what really makes you tick as a leader. Thanks for watching and let us know what you think about this book review.